bring you down. Then see him up a bar on the and say, you know what? You know, blessed are that guy, you know. That guy will be really blessed. Yes, sir. Yeah. The same mouth will curse you. Yes. God will use the same mouth to know what to do. So turn around and bless you. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Bible says, all oh, things work together for good, but them that love the Lord and call according to his purpose. Yes. So the Bible said that, the Bible said that, the apostle Paul sent back a message to the message said, listen, you got to come. Yourself. Yes. I got to come yourself. I let you. <laughs> come on. This is God just work. This is God working. Yes, yes. This is not this is not Paul and Silas working. This is no God working. And yes. you got to understand it. You got to understand the principle of God. No can't go on the corner with God. No. You got to move straight with him. Yes. You got to do everything in line according yes. to his word. Yes. You can you can jump to the to the middle. You can go to the back door. No. One way in and one way out. Yes. So the, the apostle Paul said, you come yourself. Yes. And when the magistrate received the message of the apostle Paul, the man get mad. So the Bible, what kind of, what kind of guy is this? Me. I ain't going. But no matter what you're bad, you can't bother than God. No. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. You can't out, you can't outdo God. No. God always have a better plan than us. Yes. Have a better strategy than ours. Yes. So the apostle Paul said, go and tell the one who bring me here to come. Yes. And the Bible said, when he come, yes. the apostle Paul said, listen, you got to walk with me and side us side by side in the of the out of here yes. in the home. <laughs> Yes. Everybody see you. Yes. Yes. Everybody must see you. Yes. After, I know. After you, after you, after you organize against me, you and the community. Come on and come on and just and command them to strip me and beat me yeah. and throw me into prison. Yeah. Then you're gonna go behind and tell them to let me out behind the door. And I did not guilty. I'm doing nothing wrong. No crime. No crime. I'm coming. No crime. No sir. I just cast out that devil. <laughs> well, guess what? Just release our mind. So, I'm going to start from the first chance. What? Man, we call. What? What? Yeah. 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 So, I'm going the first chance we get. Gone. Yeah. 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 Gone. Yes, sir. Get away. I'm gone. Yes, sir. Yes, Prison. 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 And get in more trouble. <laughs> yes. What the apostle Paul said, Big. No, no, sir. This is not the way how to do it. Yeah. No. I'm doing it the way oh God set it up to be done. That's right, that's right. Am I, am I talking to somebody? Yes. Because our ways and God's ways no. are not the same. Amen. Our thoughts and God's thoughts no. are no. not no. the same. Amen. That's right. Am I saying something? You see, when you can read the mind of God, you can please Him. Amen. The mind of God. Yes. If we're gonna serve Him, we have to read this mind. Yes, I know God is God is Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As you preach, I said, it is not Robert to come equal to God. No, sir. Amen. To have the mind of God, to have the thoughts of God, to have the ways of God. Because we are the representative of God here. Amen. Yes. Amen. So the apostle said, Listen, I want to. I'm coming out because I must come out of here. Yes, sir. I ain't belong here. Is you put me here? I'm coming out. Yeah, but is you have to you have to come by yourself yes, and and we walk side yes, by side. In the public, yes. I'm coming between the two. And the apostle Paul, the apostle Paul delayed the process that I believe that the whole city come. Yes. By the mercy. Ah, to preach in the river. By the mercy. Who see when you're locked in me? All those who see when you're beating me. Yes. Then we'll see, see, you see when you're beating you me. Hey, hey. And not there either. I mean, you're coming out tonight. <laughs> I'm, yes, I'm coming out in the midday. 
The same how was the day? The same how? How was that to beat me and lock me up? Because the man said it was a day. Yes. It happened on a day. So I'm coming, you got to release me on a day when everybody can see when you release me. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know. I know. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. You know what about people who tie you, who think they tie you up? Yeah. Think they have it all over you? Praise the Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. Bless if they don't take it out one way, they got to take the mic. They got to take the mic one day and come to them and test yes. yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. If I have a testimony. Believe me, I was, I, I, I was hate, Bishop. I, I, I was hate, Bishop. But no! Yes! Yes! But no! Yes! Bishop, I love you in the love of God! Yes! Yes! It will be known! I saw it! It will be known! Amen! Amen! You think you can hide and do and do the man or the woman of God something and God don't bring it out in public? So the Bible said that in the closing they come and the magistrate come and the event, the time of um, the event fully arrived. <laughs> just, I just invite you that the to see if when they remember they strip they, they strip they, they strip them and no they got to go back and look for his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And guess what? If they don't find it, they, get, they better make sure that they bring the clothes. Amen. 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 So they, they got to look back for the clothes. Yes, sir. And I say something. And bring them into one of the finest bathroom. <laughs> and get them beaten up and get them fixed up. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Because you are, you are dealing with a representative of the King of Kings. Yes. Am I saying something? Yes. So they got to go and look back for the clothes. And present it to them and said, Okay, now we are ready to go. Let's go. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Some people talk about they're going on, they're going around and they, you know them are see and them are all kind of thing and them are profit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The only, the only little, uh, little rubbing teeth in here that was down there in some area was teeth in the people. Yes, right. Both here, both, both he's a, he's a movie man. Our sea, our, our sauce, our, 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 our car, he's a great man walking around rubbing the people in money. Yes. When, apart, when, when Peter and John went go down there and begin to manifest the power of God, they real, the people, the people realize that this, this man that we were dealing with was a camouflage, you know? Yes. Was a crook. Yes. You know, God ever been, was a crook. Yes. Amen. Robbing and teeth in the people and money. But God has a way to bring them to justice by exposing them. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the scriptures say that. Let me tell you something. Nobody, nobody can keep it up. Nobody. No one can tell people about the going by arm. We call it arm. Hold your man. Hold your man or hold your woman or hold your boy or hold your girl. Say they keep it down. Keep down. You can't keep down who got already blessed. You can't curse who already blessed. It is impossible, man. You can't keep me down and not have me up. You can't curse me and God already blessed me. You can kill me already and I already did. So the Apostle Paul said, all right, let me go now. And the Apostle Paul walked out publicly 
publicly back into the city yes, of Macedonia. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? You see, when the devil tried to bring you down, God doesn't lift you up. Am I, am I saying something to somebody? Yes. Am I saying something, something to somebody? Yes. You, don't, you don't do nothing to please nobody. Everything you do, as I said before, make sure you do it to please God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Yes. The only thing God can do in secret is that when you are fast or when you are free, yes. you must lock yourself. Don't be an hypocrite. Yes. Go in the marketplace and go on a high stand and stand up. the journey. Watch the journey and watch the end result of it. Was God in this in this case? Yes. yes. From the yes. beginning. Was God in it? Who started? God started. God started. Yes. <laughs> it is God set it up. Yes. Am I saying something? Yes. And the Bible said he that started a good work. Yes. In you who is faithful to do what? To finish it. You don't worry about the struggle that you're going through. You'll lose your, you lose your house and then you're gonna blame on the economy. You what you think about my traffic is economy? Come on! Come on! Come on! Only Jesus! Come on! Come on. Come on. Now Republic and no Democrat. You, you think they try to bury them Obama and they want to try to bring him down. And they want to be what do you call them? The Republican. They try to say they're gonna build it, they're gonna create home in the home in the job and home in this and home in the dad and home in the dad. Let me tell you something. They can't do it. You got to understand, brothers and sisters, our inheritance, our wealth, everything that we own, we need, we have is in God's hands. Me, I refuse to cry. Come on. I'm crying. Because from the day that the economy starts working, I never want to get out. Without food. Come on. Am I talking? Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? And how little whole car over there in a, in a room. Every day I drive it. All right. All right. So guess what? Even the very economy. It is a setup by my God. God. That's the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And if God people be faithful unto him, just as he bring out, he bring out Paul and Silas, he's gonna bring you out over on the other side. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, if God, if God ever start anything, I don't finish it. That means that he goes beyond his word. Yes. And he can't go beyond his word. Whatever I say, can I do? Yes. Yes. Amen. You may, you, may, you may not see it happen in the time when you are looking for it to happen. But guess what? If you wait, So because the economy bad, I'm not helping my ties. The devil is a liar. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord. Come on. I'm not going to give my half friend. The devil is a liar. Yes. I might say something. Yes. Guess what? The economy may stop, but the church cannot stop. Amen. The church must go on. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ will never stop. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So guess what? Whatever prison has been locked in, even now. You feel like you have been locked up here. The situation, it feels like you have been locked beyond the inner court. 
You try everything to get out of it, and the more you try, is the more it getting worse. Yeah. I'm saying that, I'm saying that to say that, that this is your season now. Now is the time for your deliverance. Now is the time for your breakthrough. Now is your time. And you don't, you, listen, you don't want me to come down and touch you for the chain to fly off. Or the chain to fall off of you. No, Guess what? If the word can, if the word can break the chain off of you, it cannot be broken. Am I saying something? Because the word of God is a sword. Yes. If it can cut those chains off, they cannot be cut. Yeah. I don't have to come down to touch you and me and tell you for you to get delivered. The word can deliver you. Yes. The Bible said, fear coming by what? Hearing. By hearing. The word. Those of you who have been locked, we chains in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of Almighty God. No, they are falling off. They have been broken in the name of Jesus. You have been free. You have been delivered in the name of Jesus. And who the Son set free is free. Indeed. And you need to give God a, you need to give God a praise like you believe that you're free this morning. You need to give God a praise. You can believe it already happened. You believe the chain is broken. You can believe you have been delivered. Give the Lord a praise. You are free. Walk like you're free. Talk like you're free. Hawk like you're free. Live like you're free. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord Jesus. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. If you are free, give God praise. If you are free, give God praise. If you are free, give God praise. While pastor was preaching and talking about giving the praise, listen to this. When God deliver you, you got to pay him back in you know? Amen. Amen. That's the word, Bishop. He said, I must swear, go swear yourself to the priest. And half of the half in that most Hello. command you too. When God deliver you, listen, God don't do nothing for nothing, you know. No way. Hallelujah. God ain't work free. When he deliver you, you pay him back by praising him. You pay him back by worshiping him. You pay him back by honor him. You pay him back by telling people what he has done for you. He said to one person, he said, come back and show yourself to the priest. I know how for this year and give that most is telling to half. Yes. Yes. Amen. So you think that God will set you free, you just sit down. From the time you lock up your mouth, you are bound again. Yes. You got to walk and boast about him. Yes. Tell people what he has done. Yes. I was bound and Jesus Christ set me free. I was sick and he healed me. Yes. You didn't hear what I said. Amen. You didn't hear what I said. Yes. Doctor, give me up and Jesus pick me up.
breathe life into me. Doctor say you only have three days to live. Hello. So make preparation to die. So you go make preparation. Don't make your willy for the make none yet. Hey. All you have to do when man pick you, they put it down. Jesus will pick you. Hello, son. How when Jesus pick you up?